Can't believe it's almost Halloween already. If you're here to celebrate Scott going to prison, you're in the wrong place. I had nothing to do with that. Scott took that dive all by himself. Try not to look so happy about it. Is AJ here? Have you forgotten that a judge granted temporary... I want to tell him about Scott before he hears it from someone else. Dad! Hey, there's my man. Come here. <laughs> How you doing? I miss you. I miss you, too. Boy, I swear you're growing about a foot. Maybe about 50 pounds, too. Hey, how'd you do on that test? I got an A. I practiced just like you told me to. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Do the best with your... How could I not be okay when I have the best daughter in the whole wide world? Um, sweetheart, there is something that I have to tell you about Scott. He had to go away. Why? He made a mistake. And since he's such a good man, he has to go fix it. But can't he fix it with us? No, sweetheart. He can't. He's gonna be home soon, right? We have our Halloween costumes all planned. I'm sorry, Emma. Um, there's something else. Um, we are going to find a new, really, really fun place to live. But I love it here. I'm sorry, Emma. I am so, so sorry. You've testified that you've been close with Greenlee. Would you say it's quite possible that you know her better than anyone else? I think so. Do you think she's capable of murder? No, I don't. Why is that? I say this from deep personal experience. Once Greenlee loves someone, no matter what they do to her, part of her always loves them. And she loved David. They saved her life. She asked him to marry her. So then, would it be your opinion that Greenlee went into her marriage with David Hayward with the intention of a Kendall's playing yes. tough. Liza Greenlee got her to confirm to that David was blackmailing Greenlee, but it wasn't anything that Jack wasn't expecting. Do you believe that Greenlee tried to kill your mother? No, I don't. And the documents that Hayward was using to blackmail my client. Objection, Your Honor. The witness has no expert knowledge. Sustained. It's been established that Greenlee told you that she was being blackmailed. Did she tell you what she planned to do about it? Yes. She wasn't going to kill him. She planned on killing him with kindness. Part of Greenlee still loved David and believed that he would come around and do the right thing. No more questions. Would you like to redirect, Counselor? No, I have nothing, Your Honor. Your Honor, given the lateness of the hour, I propose that we adjourn for the day. Uh, Miss Colby, any objections? Well, now that you bring it up, uh, Your Honor, I would like to call one more witness to the stand. Miss Erica Kane. Commonwealth appreciates you taking the time to testify. Would you please describe your working relationship with Mrs. Hayward? Business-like. Would you care to elaborate? Not really. I don't even know exactly why I'm here. I wasn't even in town when David died. Well, your daughter just uh, sat on the witness stand and testified as to Greenlee's character. I thought it might be interesting to get your take. You thought it might be interesting? Isn't it true that the defendant, along with the deceased, framed you for skimming money from a fusion account? David Hayward actually confessed to that particular crime. Mm. And you are aware of the rumors that Mrs. Hayward may have sabotaged your plane that could have resulted in your death? Luckily, I'm alive and here to testify that, yes, I've heard the rumors. I hate rumors. 
Do you think that Greenlee tried to kill you? Objection, speculative. Uh, Jack, it's okay. I'm perfectly fine answering this question. No, I don't think that Greenlee tried to kill me. You are a well-respected member of this community, are you not? <laughs> You'd have to ask the community. <laughs> Fair enough. I was wondering what kind of person you think Greenlee Hayward is. The defense objects to this entire line of questioning, Your Honor. You opened the door when Mrs. Slater became a character witness. Mm -hmm. Proceed, Ms. Colby. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Kane, do you like Greenlee Hayward? No, I don't. But then I don't particularly like you, and I don't think you killed David either. Would you just answer the question, Ms. Kane? I'd like the jury to please disregard the witness's last answer. Go on, Ms. Colby. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What kind of person is Greenlee Hayward? Greenlee is selfish and manipulative and full of entitlement, but she is also warm and loving and decent. That's a side of her that she inherited from her father. The best man I have ever known. So don't believe the papers, don't believe the rumors. Believe me when I tell you that if this man believes in his daughter, it's with good reason. The witness. Now you might hear some things about Scott at school. I want you to hear the truth from me. Is Scott okay? He will be, but he did something he wasn't supposed to. And when that happens, there are consequences. Like a timeout? Yeah, well, sort of. He has to go away and make up for what he did. But he was teaching me the scissors. The what? For soccer. <laughs> well, I could teach you that. Can we go home and practice right now? Well, I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. But I'll talk to your mom. We'll go to a park, okay? I want to come home. And I want Mommy to come home, too. Mommy's not going to be able to come live with us at the house. I bet before too long you'll be playing soccer on that back meadow. Okay? You know, a long, long time ago I told your mom in heaven keep you happy and safe. I know things have, have not been easy lately. I will do everything in my power to make sure that I keep that promise. Okay. Give me a hug. AJ, why don't you uh, go get your jacket and we'll go check in on Kathy and Jenny, okay, Betty? What? You were good with him. He's my son. And he's going through a tough time. Now, Marissa's the one who started this whole custody war. give her a choice. But she overreacted. Now, Caleb is using her to get to me, and AJ's getting hurt in the process. Dr. she is doing what she thinks she needs to do. Well, talk some sense into her. I mean, think about what Babe would want. What she would want for AJ. Babe is not here. But Marissa is, and I'm going to do everything I can to help her keep that little boy safe. You know, if I wanted to, I could grab Age and I could walk right out of here. And there wouldn't be anything that you could do about it.